What's up guys, my name is Andre and welcome to a new video. This video is going to be inspired by Droaga1 which is the only guy on YouTube that can make me stare on my computer screen for over an hour while he messes around with other computers because that's basically what I do every day here. Not at the channel because I don't post these things every day. So, um, I was watching a video from him that it's called can the Windows 98 machine handle Minecraft? And uh, apart from the Windows 98 thing, I wanted to try this for myself with a bit of a better machine, but using the same video card. He was he is using in this video an Nvidia FX 5200, and I and I have the exact same card here, and I actually have a better one. Uh, this is the 5500, and I also removed the IO the IO bracket in, in this one, but it's a a bit of a better card. I don't remember how much memory this one has, but I believe it's also 256 megs, like the 5200 that I have around here. And uh, we are going to test this out today, running Minecraft. So I have my my uh, old machine running here. I think I already featured it in the previous video. I think the video was why I love CRTs. And uh, it's a Pentium 4 2.8 gigahertz. Uh, now we are running it with uh, one gigabyte of RAM, a 40 gigabyte hard drive, uh, the, of course the, the FX 5200 and uh, the SoundLive CT4830 awesome sound card also featured in the video so uh, yeah let's let's continue oh yeah and before you ask I shaved uh, oh well I won't get into much detail about this actually let's stop this sh this cut right here so this is the machine that we are going to be using today uh, in the previous shot, I already said the specifications, so no need to repeat that. Uh, I, I, I was having a bit of some problems with this machine because I was using actually two gigabytes in this machine. Here's the second uh, memory, you know, second memory module. But probably this memory module has gone bad because I was having some random, random freezings and uh, blue screens. I don't know. Sometimes the machine would simply refuse to post at all, so I figure out, I trace down the problem to this memory module. So we are going to be only using one gigabyte. If I can later, in later shots, make this machine works work with two gigabytes, then we'll do it and we're going to test. The final results are going to be with two gigabytes, if I can make this machine work with two gigabytes. So, uh... Apart from the, there's nothing new here from the previous video, uh, except from the power supply. Uh, the power supply is a power supply that I got into my course Saturday, and uh, it's a modified power supply by me. The only modification that I made in this power supply is that uh, instead of hooking up the cooler, the eight centimeter cooler, into the into the twelve volt rail, I used twelve minus five to to uh, supply to the cooler only 9 volts so I can make the, the power supply much much more silent although it doesn't really matter because you can see that the cooler from the video card and from the processor are loud as shit I mean I don't blame I, I don't blame the cooler uh, these painting fours are really are, are, are some real uh, heat makers the video card has a pretty much non-existent uh, heatsink on it with a very, very fast and loud running fan, which is very annoying. Same thing with the 5500 that I shown in the previous shot. So uh, later, what I'm going to do, you can see this fancy pantsy uh, motherboard behind there. And uh, it's a test that we are going to do in in a in a in a following shot. Uh, this is an AM3 uh, board DDR2 
uh, has six SATA ports, PCI Express 2.0. It's pretty, pretty fancy board. And uh, we're gonna test Minecraft also with a much fancier uh, card. Uh, the card that we're gonna be using is this one. This is a GeForce uh, 8400GS. I believe it's 512, 512 megs of VRAM. It's not a nice, it's it's sort of a nice card, you know. Actually, this card is so crappy that it's only a bit more powerful than the onboard video in this card because the chip, ha the the uh, the chipset, the Northbridge in this in this motherboard is actually has a dedicated chip only for graphics. Uh, I believe the graphics that it uses the 4200. Radeon HD 4200 on Posmark it makes around 94 points and this card in itself makes 119. The advantage that we have here is dedicated VRAM and dedicated memory channels because when you run inter the IGP as we call it the integrated uh, graphics processor of the board and uh, it actually shares memory with the processor since the memory is a single bus uh, 64 bits. The processor and the IGP they have to compete with each other to see which each which which one is going is going to access the memory first. So this really slows down the computer. With this, there is no such thing. The memory is also single bus, but we have its but the memory but the GPU has its own dedicated memory, so it has some advantages advantages. But it's basically the same thing in terms of a raw computer power so uh, yeah oh yes I actually forgot the we're going to run this machine with two gigabytes of RAM and a Fenon tri, tri core processor uh, running at 2.3 gigahertz I believe that the processor is the model 8650 uh, you can see right here this huge thing it's not as huge as as the Pentium 4 actually doesn't produce close as much heat as this guy, as the Pentium 4 but uh, you know Pentium 4's are you can fry an egg on a Pentium 4 if, if, you, if you want my opinion so let's stop talking and uh, move on to the computer and try to install Minecraft in this machine this is going to be a quite of an interesting video even for me so here we are at our uh, retro machine sort of we already have some games inst installed on this machine. We have Counter Strike 1.6 and we have Half Life 1. Both of these games support um, the effects that the that the sound card actually has, which is A3D and uh, and uh, EX. I think are the effects called. So I don't know why, but this is set to retract the taskbar. I actually hate when the computers do this. There we go. Uh, so let's download Minecraft. I really, really do apologize that I don't have a capture card to capture the raw video out of the out of the video card to make this look a little bit better. But uh, let's go to Minecraft.net and uh, download Minecraft. Uh, I already bought the game, so let's download it. Actually, pay. I, actually, in Minecoin, I paid. 85 bucks in 2014 for the original copy of this game. Wow. Oh, this is this is the non-installer version. I want the installer. It's much fancier. It already does all the thing for me. Opening in zero seconds, and it stays there for I don't know 20. <laughs> I really do apologize that I don't have a better camera because the video quality of this camera sucks. I mean, I don't blame the camera, it's a, it's a freaking phone. The screen resolution is really quite high, it's uh, 1440 by 900, it's, uh, it's a 1610 display. And uh, right now it's downloading the runtime, which is around 40 megs. I'm really not happy about that. Come on. I mean, I have a 15 megabit internet connection here. It really should be quite fast. It's taking forever.
So this is a version of the Pentium 4 uh, which actually does not have hyper threading uh, which is quite a bit of a shame if we get closer there. It says computer Intel R Pentium 4 CPU 2.80 gigahertz uh, it actually says two values here like if it, if it had um, let me search that in, in, into Intel's ARC just to just to prove a point that this machine actually doesn't have hyper threading or or it can be saying shit. So it's a 32-bit only processor manufactured at 130 nanometers and it's and it has only a single core, but it doesn't say it doesn't say that it has two threads. Uh, TDP is around 70 watts. It says 68.4, but let's round up to 70. To be a, to be like that. So this is a non hyper threaded hyper threaded computer or processor to say. Uh, maybe I can go to CPU World and see if it says that we actually do have two two threads. Uh, yes, we actually do have two threads. So this is a hyper threaded machine. Sorry for the misinformation, but that's why we research we research things. Oh yeah, and by the way, the video is open there by Druaga1. Uh, most people would say Druaga, <laughs> Druaga in, in English, but since I don't speak English and that sounds pretty latent, latent to me, I'm gonna say Druaga. That's, that's how I would say it in Portuguese, Druaga. I don't know. Let's put my, my information. You're not gonna see it, of course. First, because the camera sucks, and second, because I'm gonna censor it out in editing. Uh, well, at least my email you can see, so you can bother me on my email because I never log in it. And the password, you're not gonna see it anyway. If I can't remember it. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, there we go. Logged in. Uh, since uh, the card that he's using only works with 1.7.2, we're going to go with 1.7.2. Just to make the video a little bit shorter. So it's going to download Minecraft 1.7.2. Oh, this is a hassle to make it work. Can't be. Damn, this machine is loud. Wow. I mean, my main computer is really quite silent. I mean, I, 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 I basically don't sleep. So just so you get the idea, I don't sleep. So my machine has to be very silent so I can use the computer the entire night without waking up someone. But eventually, yeah, it happens. The only problem that I have is that I have two Western di digital hard drives there that are more like vibrators rather than hard drives because they make so much noise. I actually. Uh, put a blanket under the case of my computer just so it can actually absorb a little bit of the, of the vibration. I would say it's around 70% but I can still hear it clearly because you know the, the, the PC case basically resonates this hard drive sound, humming sound. I believe it's uh, around seven, 60 hertz probably. It might not be I think it is actually. Oh yeah, uh, this is my main screen, so we're gonna switch up to Windows 7 very quickly. Just so I can calculate some things. So uh, we have 7200 RPM divided by 60. Uh, well, it's around 120 hertz. It, that sounds pretty much 60 to me, but if it is 120, oh well, life goes on. So this is a little bit laggy because you know that painting fours are not the most efficient thing in the world and basically probably this machine will work better at full screen than it will at uh, window mode. So we're going to switch the screen resolution all the way down to 720p and uh, Let's just crank down the, the settings, the video settings. Why is this hanging in the middle of the screen? There we go. Two chunks off. Let's, I don't know if I should cap the game at 60 FPS or not. 
Probably not. I want the maximum that I can get. No V-Sync, particles decreased, um, whatever. Let's create a new world. I have speakers hooked on, hooked on, so we will actually hear the game as well. Okay, this is my first humble experience with this machine. Let's see if it works. Fingers crossed. Focus. Stupid camera. Well, this is taking a while. Oh, I saw something. And... The game is running at, at a whopping 700 per... So, <laughs> one frame, one frame per second. I mean, the problem with Minecraft is is that it is heavy processor based. So you can actually have uh, a a very cheap video card thrown at it. But uh, as soon as you as soon as you have a, a very bad processor, the game is gonna is gonna lag as hell. So right now this video card is handling 720p rendering uh, with a hyper-threaded Pentium 4 2.8 GHz with a, only a single gigabyte of RAM. So let's press F3 to see there. It's running at around 28 to 22 FPS, which is around the same frame rate which I was actually seeing the game at Druaga's one computer running and he was actually using an Athlon XP which is uh, I think a little bit slower than these processors and now the game is just going much much worse because once the game starts loading up the the map into the memory I mean we have the, we have only one gigabyte of memory so uh, yeah pretty much oh wow now this is really laggy Holy! Oh my God! What a pitfall! This is what we call a ravine. It's like a giant cave corridor. Normally, I would be able to see to the all the all the way down to the bottom on my machine because of the uh, giant giant. No, it's not the pro appropriate word. Uh, the long rendering distance that I have on my main computer but yeah pretty much I don't want to play on servers because as you, may, I, as you guys may know I'm, I'm really anti-social anti now this is really lagging I mean once the processor has to generate more land it really lags up that's why having a good processor is the deal but if I stand still for a while and let everything load up. The card actually does pretty good. Well, not right now. Well, it was supposed to. Let's let's play the game, shall we? We're just walking around and running. Let's uh, play the game like I would try to, because I run in a very good machine. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mike. Oh, it's out of focus again. Shit. Crap. Get on focus. There we go. Let's just... Enjoy the music. Okay. Let's go make refined wood. Oh wow, this is really slow. And we have the crafting table. And now we are going to make... Just place this. We're going to make a pickaxe. Like so. And we're just going to make a hole in the ground. Oh, that's loud. There we go. Let's try to do something. I mean, this is somewhat playable. I mean, <laughs> I have I have a gaming machine. 
and I played this game basically every day and going back to Machina's all this me almost it's pretty it's not bad at all I mean it's not what I would enjoy to play every day but it's certainly not bad uh, I may want to place the camera a little bit farther away from the screen so you can actually see the whole thing okay so here we are in uh, so you can actually see the full screen you actually you can actually see the the stain you know the uh, kind of the issue with the screen that's why I even changed it but uh, yeah the game is running at pretty much locked 30 FPS which is not bad I mean 30 FPS is somewhat perfectly playable uh, so we're gonna make a pickaxe no pickaxe a dirt pickaxe let's try no of course not the game is stupid uh, this game is stupid, but actually makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> oh well. We're just... Goofing around in this. Just, uh... Make our first shelter. Maybe I should try to make a door. Well, I, I don't have enough wood. So we'll make a... Make, a, make an axe. Cobblestone X. Get the wood. Okay. I mean, this, the game is actually pretty good, but my mouse is just screwing me off. Probably the battery is, is going low. I mean, this is a freaking wireless mouse. So, uh, we'll make a door. Actually, I don't know why, but it'll actually make three doors. No, that's on Minecraft 1.9. Oh, well. So, yeah. Now that we... Now that we tested out this, this computer, with the FX 5200, we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut the computer off. And install the 5500 and see if we have any difference, if we have any increase of FPS. Probably we will have some, but it's not going to be something uh, extraordinarily, let me just grab the, the microphone here because I'm back recording videos with the camera and audio separate, separated from each other. So this is the 5500. It's actually a little bit dark but you can actually quite see there. This is the 5500. I have absolutely no idea what manufactured this is. It could be a retail, a retail. it could be, uh, I, I actually forgot the name of these cards. Uh, yeah, apparently this is a reference, a reference card because you can see the NVIDIA logo right over there in the board. So yeah, this is a reference card. So we'll go ahead and pop that sucker off from there. We're going to do this live as we are already here. I don't want to make several, several shots just for simple, just for some simple things as hooking off a video card. This, the, uh, the heatsink of this card is so vague that actually the card almost burns off your hand when you try to take it off. And I really shouldn't be handling the card in this way, but this is just a, just a piece of crap. So this is really, really hard. The memory modules, memory, the memory chips, mm, somewhat warm. They're, they're hot, but not very hot. Now let's hook in, let's hook in the 5500. I'm pretty sure I would, I would be needing to clean the contacts off. So, uh, why don't we do this right now? As we already have pretty much everything around. Let's uh, clean the contacts. Now, the way you do this is you grab yourself a school eraser and just rub the school eraser with a bit of some force in the contacts of the card and just clean it off with your hands. It doesn't doesn't care. Well, if you're careful of your things, you shouldn't be doing it like this, but, you know, 
These are just all stuff that I really don't care about. It's a, it's interesting to goof around with them, but it's not really that I, oh my god, if this video card burns, I'm gonna die. No. No. <clears throat> so, we'll put the new, <laughs> under quotes, video card in here. Lock it up. Oh wow, like there's some humming noise in the speakers, and once I plug the VGA connector, it's gone. That's weird. I have a switch, flick it on. You can see that the, that the fan in this, com in this machine is actually even worse. What? Yeah, it sounds like a microwave. Ow! Uh, so what I am pretty sure is that the drivers that the 5200 use is also compatible with the 5500, so we should have compatibility for both 52 and 5500. Oh jeez, that's loud. Oh man, this, this card is screaming at me. Uh, nope. Nope, we will ha we will actually have to download a new driver for this. Oh, this is such a shame. Why? Oh well, let's download a driver for this shit, and I'll be back in a second. So apparently, I was right about the driver thing. Um, so yeah, I actually don't need to download another driver. Just let the computer recognize recognize the new the new card, and uh, we are all set to go. Let's see if. We will have any improvement in performance by just putting a video card that it's basically one model up. I don't know exactly. If there is a 5300 and 5400 between these two, uh, there might not be. But uh, this is what we have for today. Let's just wait for it to log in. And we're gonna play again some Minecraft. Actually, Letting the card running for a little while seems to have gone a little bit more silent. And then actually we're going to test some other games as well. I'm going to test out Half-Life 1 and uh, we're, I'm going to test uh, Counter-Strike 1.6. So if it didn't reset the things, no, we're going to back, we're going to go back there and uh, see what we got. Should be really quite interesting so the world is slowly loading up again and I can immediately feel that the game is a little bit more uh, yeah you can clearly see that the FPS is much higher now what? just by adding a different card? <laughs> I mean the game, you can see that, it, that he picked up at 60 FPS there. This is really something. <laughs> the only thing that is actually holding back this card right now is the processor, but you can see that it's running at 50 frames per second. What? I am just as surprised as you. We'll actually put some uh, fancy pantsy lightning here just to see how the card handles it. Yeah, it still does pretty good. I mean, the shading part is just a, just a video card. So we're gonna go real fancy here. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. 40 FPS, 30 something. This is really not bad. I mean, I know that I'm gonna find much better once I go back to my gaming computer, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna start starving, so we're gonna, cl we're gonna kill some cows. Or is it gonna? Oh, sorry. You, you can see that my mouse is, is just going crazy. That's what I told you. We're gonna go back to fast. Let's just keep the fancy lightning. So, so as you can see, it only lags up when you are loading up the world. But once everything is pretty much loaded up into the memory, uh, the game just runs fine, apparently. 
Man, I'm gonna miss this old combat system from Minecraft 1.8 and previous. Because in Minecraft 1.9 they simply changed everything about the combat system. Actually, Minecraft 1.9 is marketed as the um, self-claimed the combat update because we have shields, we have new combat techniques and all that shit. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if this will actually cook the food. Yeah, it will. So we're fine. Let me blow into this mouse. It's so weird. Maybe you can put something below, under the mouse, just to make it work a little bit better. Why can't we put under a mouse? Mm, let's say a sociology book. <laughs> oh wow, that's much better. <laughs> Holy crap. How much better the thing actually is. Just placing a book under it. So we are running Minecraft at 50 frames per second. We have like a 20 FPS improvement by just changing the video card, which is something I, I really wasn't expecting to happen. Like I was expecting some improvement, but not a whole lot of improvement like it, like we just saw right here. That's truly something. Let me see how much memory I actually have in this card. I believe it's still 500 and, um, sorry. Uh, I think it's still, yeah, 256 megs, but it's a much better card, sorta. Whoa, the game is running at 70, 70 frames per second, did you see that? Wow. Seven, 70 frames per second, how cool is that? This is, a, like, this is like a 2003 video card, and it's running so good as this. Wow. Uh, let me try Half-Life 1, because Half-Life 1 seems to really torture my video cards. So we're, cr we're gonna crank the resolution all the way up to 720 and run it on full screen. I'm just bring the volume down a little bit because this is a very this is a very loud game. Uh, the game's gonna crash of course as it always does. This game is so unstable. You don't believe me how unstable the game actually is. So new game, let's go to the training room and see how the game actually re reacts to the new card. Uh, I believe I actually have fraps well, this is not running very, very good. Let me open up Frap so you can actually see with me uh, how many frames per second we're actually getting. We're not going to record anything. So, just to see how much the game is actually running at. So, yeah, we have a big chunky counter right up there at the left top, top corner of the screen. Let's do it again. Probably the game is capped to run at 30 FPS max, yeah, uh, 300. So it's all the way up to 60. Well, oh wow, it's 60, it's steady. Holy crap, this is much better than I expected. I mean, just by changing the video card, I have, I have a major improvement in frame rate. This is so cool. I mean, you can barely see anything because it's out of focus. Open up. I don't know why they locks up, locks us up here. There we go. I think the audio effects are enabled. No, they're not. And we actually have to restart the game to see the effects. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is such a difference. Oh, wow. The, 
the EX and A3D really makes a difference in this game. Holy crap! I'm gonna put the microphone up close to the speaker so you can actually hear it. You're not gonna hear uh, stereo, of course, but... Whatever. Open up the goddamn door. Aw, oh, come on, you're gonna lock me in here. No way. What's the problem with this door? The sound is so much more immersive with, this, with the sound card. You actually can't believe me. Good work. Those consumes can be tricky. You Directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward. If you want to come back down, just move backward. Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course, but if you miss the first time, don't worry, it will come around again. Try your reload during pauses, rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in five, four, three, two, one. This is the 
charging unit for hazardous environment. As you can completely hear, there is a lot of depth and realism to the to each of the rooms that you that you go through in the hazard course, which is also a, an FPS and sound test. It's not just a training room. So you can see that uh, yeah, this machine really does pretty good. I am actually surprised. Now I, I will. Uh, we can try the Phantom Machine, but uh, I was having a lot of problems with it. Like I was, uh, most of most of the time, the machine would would not post at all. Uh, because again, uh, also one of my two memory sticks, because I have a pair of two gigabytes, so it's four gigabytes of DDR2 memory. One of the sticks is actually bad. So most of the time the machine would not even post. So fingers crossed that we will actually be able to get through and install the thing. Uh, I have Windows 7 installed in that machine. But we can try to install Windows XP, I don't know, I don't have... I, I, I think I have a CD for the installation of Windows XP. But I'm really not quite sure. So, shall we try it? I don't know. So, all right, we are on our on our <laughs> triple core machine, and uh, we're gonna open the open the system tab right here. The system tab, just the system window, so you can see the specs. So it says there, processor AMD Phenon trademark 8650 triple core processor, 2.30 gigahertz and two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, I did not test the additional uh, RAM stick to see uh, to see it, you know, if, it, if it's going to work. But uh, before this shot, I was actually, I actually played around for five minutes thinking that the camera was actually recording something and in that middle time the game actually crashed off. So I'm gonna place the microphone here and uh, we're gonna play the game again. <laughs> So, uh, we are going to run the game at, the, at, at exactly the same settings and the same version as we were before, just that the system is different. So let's load up the world and I'll do, I'll, I'll do that. You see the machine there with the 8400GS. So it actually loads much, much quicker than the previous machine, of course, it's a triple core processor. And uh, it actually lags much, much less than with the previous machine because of course this is a triple core processor and as, I, and as I said in a previous shot Minecraft is a very, very CPU intensive application it actually uh, gets, it actually runs much better with a lot of cores like four cores is the four cores is it recommended to run this game properly so if I open up the tab right there you can see that the game is running 
Uh, it's 90, 90 frames per second. That's pretty good. Take a look. 85, 92. We'll just play it a little bit around while we'll see that that chart going up and down because the video card is not the greatest in the world. But it's doing a quite a decent job in, of running the game somewhat decently. I have a bit of some lags from one time to the other and I'm stuck inside a block. Shit. Whoa, this is... I mean, this, this Minecraft version is so glitched up. See, it's going all the way over. 12 frames per second, 40, 30, what the hell? Oh, f fell inside a cave. Now, we are going to start cranking up the video settings uh, till we see something interesting going on. So, uh, options, video settings. We're gonna set this at four chunks. Oh, fuck me. I crashed the game again! No! <laughs> I think that this video card isn't, isn't good. I crashed the game again! Twice! In less than ten minutes! Ah, uh, You gotta be shitting me! You know what? Let's go further and uh, we're gonna try Minecraft 1.9 since 1.7.2 is just crashing all over the place. I'm, I mean, that might even be why why the game was going all over the place because I don't know two gigabytes of RAM is quite a it's quite a fair bit of memory and Java is still kind of open behind let's close it off okay so let's open Minecraft again and uh, we're gonna test with Minecraft 1.9 we also have sound. Actually, the sound section of this motherboard is very, very fancy. You don't know me. Uh, 7.1 audio, 192 kilohertz of input and output, uh, sampling rate, 24 bits in and out. This is a very, very fancy, very fancy audio section for for a uh, motherboard. Actually, it's much better than the outer section of my personal computer which is just under here which is my main gaming computer so yeah let's load up the game hopefully we won't crash it anymore also why don't we try to record something it would be quite interesting you know how minecraft all that thing so we are on Minecraft 1.9 and we should be running at the same at the same uh, graphics as we were before four chunks I, I believe no that's two chunks let's put it to four chunks and uh, Minecraft 1.9 actually makes a little bit of a better use of the processor I, as, I, as, I, as I've seen uh, so the game is running at 50 frames per second and you can see right there the the thing. You can see there. A uh, triple AMD fan and triple core, of course, 1280 by 720, uh, 8400GS, NVIDIA Corporation. That's pretty good. So, the game is running at 50 frames per second. We have some stuttering, which really shouldn't be happening because the processor is really well enough to run this game properly. Yeah. I mean, this is not running great, but I really, really did expect it. I really did expect much more. 56, 58. So, apparently the, the bottleneck here is really the video card. And you know what I would do if I was really into testing this computer out? I would plug my fancy pansy R7 to 50x, 250x in this motherboard just to see how it runs. But you know what? We won't do that. We won't. Because last time I did it, just by unplugging the video card from my computer and plug it into this motherboard, once I plugged 
my video card into my main computer again I had blue screens to the ass so we won't do that I mean the resolution of this camera is so low that I can't I can't make out the fins of the of the dissipator from the, from the heatsink from that di from that distance look you can't make it off that's why I hate this camera I can't make the fins of the heatsink there and everything looks so um, you know it's not washed out it looks it looks like a lack of, of sharpening but when I go to this to the monitor uh, the moire effect of the camera actually sharpens the image much more than normally it is I don't know why so yeah pretty much uh, what I want to try right now is to see how whoa what happened there oh there we go <laughs> I thought I just went from full screen to window mode and the the damn thing just just got off so we're gonna put in two two chunks once again and what we're gonna open up fraps I think I have fraps here don't I no I think I don't so we'll download it quickly we were seeing actually some actual usage of the processor probably this as, as I said this game is very CPU intensive but I think I just crashed the goddamn game again no we're just no, we're just using pretty much all the RAM that we have. That's why the, the computer is a little is a little slow. So, it would be quite uh, interesting to test the computer with 4 gigabytes of RAM, but as I can see, the, the computer is just locking up all over the place because we're using pretty much all the RAM that we have. And even if I close Minecraft, it still uses all the RAM. So, we are opening up Chrome. Uh, Apparently, let me grab the microphone. Apparently, Windows 7 recognizes automatically the audio driver and the Ethernet driver, which is very, very convenient. Which does means that it doesn't have to search around all over the internet just to, just to search some some uh, drivers. Freps crackado. Let's go. I mean, the tutorials are so shitty, man. At least the Brazilian ones. But they do provide some useful links. But I think that I have fraps in a thumb drive right here, so I'll just plug it in. Uh, let let me see if I can make this computer work with four gigabytes of RAM. And also in the meantime, I'm gonna uh, put the zip file for fraps in one of my flash drives to install on this computer. If eventually we can make it work, I'm just. Uh, not sure about this. Uh, plug into this computer and we are gonna try to make this god damned thing to work with four gigabytes of RAM. So we'll start off by getting the sec the second uh, memory module and clean its uh, fins its fins its contact points off by utilizing the same process as we saw uh, I do this actually for every single thing that I plug into my test computers because I really don't want to get into the, the risk like, oh yeah, uh, you know why that thing's not working? It's because you forgot to clean your contacts. So I really don't want to run into that risk of losing that much time just because it didn't clean it off. So I, I clean it in the first place. The first thing I do is to clean it. So uh, it's cleaned off. A good way that I note that I have to know if the process if the motherboard is actually going to boot up is that the when the processor actually starts to work in this motherboard the fan uh, accelerates the CPU fan so I, that I know that it's actually going to work now even if this memory actually works I'm pretty sure we will not go that far I mean uh, we're probably going to have a crash middle way like the computer freezing halfway in the bootstrapping ah oh, come on so, we, so there we go we have it there so now it's going to start to bootstrap uh, bootstrapping is the process where you can see that it's starting windows 
That's the bootstrapping process. Well, that's a good sign. Maybe. Let's put the camera closer. Okay, we actually got something. Well, it hasn't frozen yet, so I think... He's a winner! Yeah! There we go! So, let me just check it out. It's recognizing something because it's crashing all over. And... Yeah, we have 4 gigabytes there. That's a pretty good sign. So, we are going to install Fraps. And uh, we're going to try to record a video using Fraps and then we are going to try to encode the video using Vegas Pro 13 which is already installed in this machine. So, uh, let's uh, extract it all. I mean, what I'm going to do here is something that you really shouldn't do, which is basically, <laughs> which is basically record a video in a single hard drive using Fraps, and I'm going to try to do that before I run out of memory in my card. Actually, uh, it's not I run out of memory; it's before it reaches the limit for, it's before it reaches the limit for recording each file, it's around 22 minutes, so I have 6 minutes left. So, we'll open Minecraft. Uh, if this actually works, if I can actually record something, I'm going to get my secondary, my secondary hard drive, well, I, I'm gonna get a secondary hard drive and plug it in. I'm gonna uh, pull the DVD drive off, which I'm not using, and plug a second hard drive just for recording fraps. It's going to be awesome. Play. Uh, the video is going to be recorded at 480p69 because, you know, whatever. Uh, this is not a powerful machine. You know, the video card kind of sucks and we we have only a single hard drive for recording in Windows and Minecraft and everything that's really not going to work very well. So uh, I'm going to try to avoid uh, high resolutions because this is really not going to work. Probably it can work. You know, uh, the video is going to be capped off at 30 frames per second. So I may be able to to do this uh, on 720p. But I, I'm really not looking forward to do it. So... Okay. Wow. Hear that noise? The computer just froze. As I told you, because the memory module is not good. Look at the noise. That's not a humming noise from the uh, sound card. That's because the computer froze while it was playing a, so a sound from the game. And the computer is completely frozen. Nothing moves. I can I can uh, control alt del control alt all the day long, and it's not going to do anything. So we're going to press it off. So you can see that really the memory module really uh, fucks it off. So as we already done what we needed to do, which was testing Minecraft in two different machines, see how it was going to run. And this video was all inspired by Druaga 1, so yeah, uh, let's go back to my face, my beautiful face. So with all the dogs barking just behind my house, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was very, very interesting to make this video uh, because for the first time, both of these machines worked correctly for the most part. 
Uh, I mean, getting this Phantom Machine to work was a hassle. Just a few days ago, I was not able to make it work at all. It was not posting, as I said in previous shots. And also, this Pentium 4 board was the same. I was having some BIOS issues with it. Uh, some Sometimes it would not post as well. So uh, I'm pretty glad that these machines actually worked uh, as long as, as as long enough so I could uh, so I could actually record them. Pretty nice. Um, and uh, basically that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.